Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of fetal high drops with heart failure. A 21 year old female patient came with 6 months of amenorrhea. She was gone through some ultrasound scan and referred to our center for further evaluation. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. As this patient was sent for congenital anomaly scan, so we started with the measurements. When we try to measure the bipartial diameter, you can see the surrounding scalp skin is edematous and thickened. The gestational edge measurements suggest it around 23 to 24 weeks of gestation. Here is another picture of the measurement. You can see the femoral length also shows around 24 weeks of gestation. You definitely should not rely on the abdominal circumference and the weight came from this image should be higher than normal. But we measured it for you to give you an idea about how distended the abdomen is. You can see the abdominal skin thickening here. The liver is also enlarged, which we'll talk a little bit later. And you can see surrounding anechoic areas within the peritoneal cavity, which is nothing but ascites. Let's see on real time. Here you can see a huge anechoic area within the pleural and abdominal cavities. You can see a large liver here. Here is on transverse section you can see and on longitudinal section also. These ecogenic areas are nothing but the small intestinal loops floating within the fluid. You can see bilateral pleural effusions and the lung is a little bit compressed due to huge amount of fluid with the flattening of diaphragm. The skin is generalized thickened. You can see the heart here. The heart is quite enlarged and beating quite irregularly. From this image, it looks like some chambers are asymmetrical, which we'll discuss a little bit later. And you can see the gallbladder wall is also thickened. If you look at the surrounding area, the amniotic fluid is also not within normal limit. It is also increased. You can see the peritoneum floating within the abdomen due to huge fluid collection. In this type of polyhydramnios case with fetal hydrops as you can see fluid collection within two or more than two body cavities and presence of hepatomegaly indicates suspicion of fetal anemia. Here is some short width view which you may get from fetal eco preset. This is a contrast image and I love it very much and you can see something abnormalities going on within the heart. This is the liver, it is quite enlarged. It looks quite coarse because of the surrounding contrast image. You should be careful about mentioning that. And here is the heart, you can see definitely the chambers are asymmetrical. There is some fluid collection within the thoracic cavity which is nothing but the pleural effusions. And these are the bowel loops. You see some compressed or collapsed lungs here. Here's the picture. You can see the fetal face in coronal section and it looks quite swollen. The skin is edematous, making a puffy face. Here is a section of the thoracoabdominal region and you can see the edematous skin. These are the bilateral pleural effusion. The diaphragm is flattened and the lungs are quite compressed. The liver is enlarged. We will measure it a little bit later. The abdomen is distended with the ascitic fluid and this is nothing but the peritoneal membrane floating within the ascitic fluid. Another picture with a large liver. We have tried to measure the longest superior diameter and on the right image you can see with huge ascites there is also a gallbladder wall thickening. In adult patients when you see ascites with liver abnormality you commonly see the gallbladder wall gets edematous and thickened. So why don't you check for gallbladder wall thickening in case of fetal ascites. Here's another picture. You can see the bilateral pleural effusion with flattening of the diaphragm, enlarged liver, small bile, and ascites with generalized skin thickening. 
and the picture with the pleural effusion here with the generalized thickening of the fetal skin. Here we have tried to show you a color Doppler image where you can see very prominent hepatic veins. It took our attention and we suspected some cardiac abnormality here, especially the cardiac failure. There was increased amount of amniotic fluid and fetal ascites was present. You can see four pockets which show huge amount of fluid here. Now let's look at the fetal heart. It's not beating regularly. There is something abnormality going on here. This is the right atrium which is enlarged. When you get an enlarged right atrium, you should first look at the tricuspid valve, but it is within normal range. So it's not a case of Epstein anomaly. You can see the ventricular walls are quite thickened. So it's a typical case of heart failure. Here's the picture. You can see the right atrium is dilated and the ventricular walls are also slightly thickened. Heart is enlarged. You can see the pleural effusion. We measured the heart rate with pulse wave Doppler and you can see they are beating quite irregularly. The rhythm is not maintained and there should be some tricuspid regurgitation also. Here we have tried to measure it again and you can see the beats are not regular and here at this time of measurement the heart rate was 62 beats per minute which is very bad if you think about the prognosis. So in summary, a 23 to 24 week sized single life intrauterine pregnancy is seen. There was fetal generalized skin edema, bilateral gloss pleural effusion was seen with compressed lungs and flattened diaphragmatic domes. The heart was enlarged with enlarged right atrium. The ventricle walls were thickened with irregularly irregular cardiac pulsation and at the end of the scan we have found gross fetal bradycardia. There was a distended abdomen with ascites and hepatomegaly. The gallbladder wall was thickened and there was polyhydramnios. So combining these all features, we can say this as a case of fetal hydrops with cardiac failure. Now the take home message. In case of hydrops, if you see hepatosplenomegaly, then it may indicate as a case of fetal anemia. The heart failure in that situation may or may not be due to the anemic cause. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to follow us on other social platforms. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.